everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. I'm going to do another reading about Susie Bay. Uh, I have a viewer that would like to know her future love, who the person is going to be. Okay, so for all of you who do not like me do, doing readings on Susie Bay, just don't watch. Don't watch. Don't, don't leave me comments saying that I'm ruining, ruining her career because I'm not. This is a small channel on YouTube, so if you like this content, keep watching, subscribe, like, comment, but if you don't like me doing readings on Susie, don't watch. Don't come to my channel. It's okay. I will, I will live. I will survive, um, but I'm not going to ruin her life. I have a lot of subscribers that are huge fans of Susie's and I am doing it for the fans that love her and want the best for her and enjoy her and um, really just admire her, okay? I don't know this woman. I, I wouldn't know her if she walked up to me. I don't know her. So I don't know anything about her. I didn't even know she existed. So keep your comments to yourself if you don't like me doing the readings about Susie. Okay, this is my channel. Whatever I want to do, I can do on this channel. Okay, if you don't like it, just don't come. Just don't come watch. And I'm okay with that. All right, so a little bit about myself. I'm a clairsentient and clairvoyant. I can pick up energies um, very easily. I can, I can read Susie's energy. Not a problem. That is how I do my readings. It is, it's called reading people. It's where I shine and I do my best work. Okay. So I'm going to do a reading on Susie to see what's coming up with her um, for her future um, love. Now, when I think about Susie, she is very charismatic. I feel like she attracts a lot of men. And the men that she attracts are usually successful and older. She has something about her that really um, uh, people love. And... The men that she attracts are always, I feel they're always very solid. And again, I get the successful. I get, I get a lot of, like on, on the tarot cards, it's like um, men who have pentacles all around them. Like, you know, the king of pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. I, I, people that are very solid. I don't feel she attracts men that are, um, uh, dreamy and men that don't know what they want in their life. So she unconsciously is um, attracting men that will give to her. They give. They give freely. And she really likes that a lot. And I don't feel she takes advantage of any of this. I truly feel that she falls in love and she hopes to have long-lasting committed relationships with them okay so but I feel she's quite charismatic it's just who she is she is fun she knows how to enjoy life my dog what's up on my here say hi to everybody my dog's name is chop chop he needs his hair brushed <laughs> okay so she just attracts a lot of goodness into her life and I don't think she does it on purpose it's just who she is so the next person that I feel that is going to come into her life and make some sort of an offer I do not feel that this man is going to be a man that is in the industry he has a suit on I see him wearing a suit I see him being very composed and um very debonair and suave so he looks good he smells good he dresses nicely he is um mature and with this suit because I see him wearing a suit it's like a lawyer I feel like he's a lawyer that she's going to meet that for example if she's going to go to another movie set let's say she's going to do a movie or she's going to do some sort of a um, new project this man will come and negotiate like he'll be a lawyer for somebody else, whether it's for the company and it's like she's going to be attracted to him instantly. And I feel that this lawyer isn't going to really understand who she is. I know that there's a lot of stars out there and there's some big names, but not everybody knows the big names. Like I don't, I didn't know who Susie was. 
All right, I live in North America. I didn't know who she was. And I feel like this man is going to be the same. It's not like, oh, I get to meet Susie. It's like, oh, who is this woman? Okay, she's just another actress. And he's going to go from there. He's not going to really understand her actual, her fame and um, her following and that sort of a thing. So that is what I'm picking up. So I feel like he's going to have tall. He's going to be tall, dark hair. He's going to be a man that's not going to be tall and thin, but big, like tall and stocky and uh, probably looks after himself. And he will be a little bit older. I feel that, you know, this guy might be probably about between five to seven years older than her. Okay. So let's just, I'm going to get my cards out and see what the cards say. All right. What are the messages regarding Susie's? future love. What are the messages regarding Susie's future love? What are the messages regarding Susie's future love? And the way I do my tarot readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and shuffle till the one card falls out again. All right. What are the messages regarding Susie's future love? What are the messages regarding Susie's future love? What are the messages regarding Susie's future love? There is something about her that the men find very endearing. She's almost, um, I'm not saying she's like a little girl, but it's almost this, she's fun. And she knows how to bring fun to her life. And people get attracted to that sort of an energy. What are the future messages regarding Susan? Susie's love. Future messages regarding Susie's love. Susie's love. Future messages regarding Susie's love. <clears throat> this guy's going to be confident. I feel like he's confident in what he does. Okay, nine of cups, which is wish, wishes coming true. All right, wishes come true and abundance with this person. Okay, look at all the cups. All the cups are full. Then we have the four of cups. So this is about feeling unfulfilled right now. This is showing that, you know, um, she is not happy with her love life, maybe lack of love life. I don't think she has one right now, but a gift is being handed to her. Okay, you can see this is out of the thin air. She doesn't see it because it's behind her and she's just kind of focusing on what she doesn't have, which is this empty cup right now. Here we have the Queen of Swords. I forget her birth date. I'm going to look it up right now just because um, Susie Bay's birthday. Susie Bay birthday. October 10th. Okay. There she is, the Queen of Swords, going after what she wants. This is her. This is an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, and she's that Libra. So she is, this is a truth-telling woman. And she is um, logical and self-sufficient. She's self-sufficient. She's logical. She's truth-telling. She goes after what she wants, and she gets what she wants. Now look who showed up, the lovers, all right, tall, dark hair, there he is. So this is partnership, deep love, 
It's a balance of two people together. There's going to be some mystery here. The moon talks about mystery and not really knowing, you know, much about each other. But this is very mysterious to the two of them. And then we have the seven of wands. Seven of wands is going after what you want. And I feel like he's going to go after what he wants. And that's her. Look at that. He's tall, dark hair again. Okay. Let's just ask more about this man. Now, if you guys like this content and you would like to um, donate to my channel, donations are welcome. If you donate and you email me, you can donate, you can email me, say I made a donation, I would like to see this reading and I will have the reading for you for sure. If, you know, if there's a donation made, but otherwise I don't get paid a whole lot from YouTube. YouTube kind of sucks that way. They don't, you know, I can have a, a video that I put out and 4,000 views and I get $2 for it. So there's not a lot of money being made from YouTube. All right. What more do we need to know from this man that's coming into Susie's life? What do we need to know about the man that's coming into Susie's life? again look how many cards I have okay and it's coming it came out again okay what do we need to know there is the four of wands which talks about um, uh, stability this is wedding this is family friends this is um, enjoying life celebrations the Sun card the luckiest card in the deck it's a joyous outcome then we have the Wheel of Fortune. All right. The Wheel of Fortune talks about um, a turning point. It's taking that gamble and it'll be like a lucky, lucky meeting. Then we have the Magician. It's turning your visions into reality. Someone here is manifesting and they have all the power. Look, there's the coin, the cup, the sword and the wand. And you have this here, which talks about unlimited power. So there's unlimited power here. Someone is envisioning this and it's going to turn into um, reality. Okay. And then there's the death card. This is not a bad card. This is change and transition. Her life will bloom with this person. This person is going to take care of her, dote on her. She doesn't need to be taken care of, but he is going to make sure he is going to love her and look after her. Um, like, uh, dote on her whatever it's like I get this vibe of like whatever you would like my queen I will get it for you okay all right so this is that there's going to change her life or you see this flower here that's blooming it's going to change her life she's going to be dedicated to this man and the man's going to be dedicated to her this is that past life connection soulmate okay all right there you go if anybody would like to purchase a private reading, email me and I will get back to you within 24 hours. All right. Thank you for watching, sharing, liking, subscribing, commenting. I truly appreciate it. Um, if you want to share this, go ahead. Put it out on Twitter, Instagram, you name it. Go ahead. You have my permission to do that. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.